Hey guys, it's April. Um, so today I'm going to show you how I make my glitter tumblers, the one that I had drink up witches. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently today because I'm gonna do a white background on the on the cup. I did do it with a metal background. I just wanted to test it out and see what it would look like. So here you see me putting electrical tape on the bottom and top of my cup. This is completely optional. Um, if you prefer to have epoxy go all the way up, I would just make sure it's a food safe one. So I'm going to do two coats of white ultra matte spray paint and let those dry completely. And then I'm going to take Loctite spray adhesive and put it all around my cup to make sure the glitter sticks to it. You're going to make sure you get it all the way up to the, the tape. So I've got some extra pieces of paper here with my glitter. I've got gold, orange, and white for candy corn colors. So here you see me pouring the, the gold glitter onto the cup. And I'm going to make sure that I really pack it on there. Make sure that there's not really any open spots. You're going to see me go up a little bit further so I can sprinkle a little bit of glitter and it makes it uh, an ombre color when I mix it with an orange. So I pack the bottom of the cup and make sure I get all the glitter off. And then I pour the glitter back into my container so I don't waste any. The same thing with the orange. I'm going to pack it in where the gold meets the orange. That way it gives it more of an ombre effect. And here I am really packing it into the cup. And the same thing with the the orange. You're going to take it a little further up so it, it drops in smaller sections so it gives you more of an ombre effect. So when I mix it with the white it's going to get a little bit more ombre. So here I am putting the glitter back into the jar so I don't waste any. And then I'm going to switch out papers so I'll, none of the orange and gold glitter gets into the white glitter that I have. So here I am really packing in that white because it's a white cup so you're not going to be able to see it that well unless it, you pack it in. And it's probably not the best day to do it out in a windy day like I did. I just wanted to make sure I'm in a well ventilated area. Here I am showing you the cup, but you can't see it because I'm really bad at filming. And then I'm going to take Minwax polyacrylic um, spray. It's a sealant, so I'm going to spray it all around the cup and make sure everything's completely sealed before moving on. Make sure it's all dry. So here I'm going to take Amazing Epoxy. It's a two-part epoxy. Um, you can't really see it because, like I said, I'm bad at filming. And then you're going to make sure that you have some plastic measuring cups, two of those. You're going to have um, at least one plastic cup to mix both of them in. Some wooden spoons. Um, and then it's optional if you would like to have paper towels and alcohol handy. So you're going to mix two-part wax, So, or um, I'm sorry, two-part epoxy. So here I am mixing A. And you're going to make sure that you mix them equally. So if you have 10 of A, you're going to do 10 of B. So here, here I am mixing it and make sure that all the swirls and stuff is out. You're going to want to have some type of spinning device with this. Um, so your epoxy doesn't drip down the cup and dry like that because it is really hard to, to get that out. It's, it's a pain to get it out. So just make sure you have something that's spinning it, whether it be a PVC pipe with cardboard or this spin it device, which is kind of terrible, I'm not going to lie, but it works. So I'm just going to evenly coat it and make sure all the glitter and everything is coated with the epoxy going from tape to tape. And you're going to want to do this with nitro gloves and a respirator. Epoxy can be very toxic when in small spaces and non-well ventilated spaces. And here I am, I'm going to pull the electrical tape off. Um, this is 30 minutes after I had let it set a little bit. After I would put the epoxy on, I waited 30 minutes to pull the, um, the tape off. And now you're going to let it set for at least it four hours with my epoxy I do it a little bit longer I try to wait it at least eight hours 
before messing with it again. Okay, so now you're going to see me going to Cricut Design Space. I'm going to click on Images. I'm going to search up Witch's Hat, and this is the one I'm going to pick. Uh, mine, I don't have green or gold uh, vinyl at the moment, so I'm just going to make it all black. And then I'm going to go to Text. I'm going to type in my text, which is Drink Up Witches. And then I'm going to choose my font. The font I'm going to choose is going to be Chloe. Um, so you just see me scrolling. You can type it in as well, but uh, I didn't think about it at the moment. So here's my font. It's Chloe. So I'm just going to put this off to the side. And then I'm going to go over there and hit ungroup because the letters are a little bit too far apart for me. So I'm going to put those a little bit closer together. And then I'm going to hit group on both of these. I'm going to group them separately. So group drink up together and then group widgets together. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to group all of them together. I've got to fix this a little bit. Group all of them together and put it to the length that you would like. My cup's a little smaller so I'm going to go on a little bit on the smaller side. Also uh, make sure you attach them before you hit make because it will give you a bunch of little small pieces. And then you're going to connect your maker and hit your material which I set as vinyl. You're going to load your materials into your mat and click um, go and then it'll cut, cut it for you. I'm going to weed, weed out my design. I'm going to put my transfer tape on there and make sure you, um, I had to undo mine because I had a bubble in mine. This. So I'm going to pull it off. Um, I'm going to roll it off my design and position it on my cup and stick it down and then roll it back off of my decal and you don't have to get a Cricut machine to get a decal you can buy them at Walmart or um, you can also buy those on Etsy so here I am I'm gonna put my black electrical tape I'm gonna do it a little bit away from it so it gives me a little uh, a lip so it seals all the glitter and um, design and stuff in the cup or on the cup I'm sorry so here I am doing the epoxy again, the same thing I did last time. And we're just going to put another layer of epoxy on. And another thing with the epoxy, just make sure that you're wearing like a respirator and all that stuff with it because it can be toxic. Um, make sure you're reading the warning labels and make sure you're reading the directions on your epoxy because your epoxy might be different from mine. And here I am going to mix them up again and turn on my tool and I'm going to start applying the epoxy, making sure that I get it over the little lip where the tapes are now so it seals everything in there. And another thing, if you come up with bubbles, you can always take a heat gun to it for a couple seconds. Um, make sure you're moving the heat gun around and not in one area for a long time time so here's the finished look um this is going to be both back and front side hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um like and subscribe and share if you like and i'll continue making more see you guys later Bye.